What's up guys, it's James from Fish Stakes. We're back on Flight Sim and we're doing another hidden feature video. So today we're gonna to be looking at the drone camera. This is one of my favorite features in Flight Sim and by default, it's turned off in the Xbox version. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to turn this thing on and then we'll jump in and have a look at what it can actually do. So you're gonna to wanna to start by coming to your main menu and going to controls options. Now once we're in controls options, obviously we wanna be on controller. Now, interestingly, this one's so well hidden that I can't find it in any of these menus. So what I had to do is go to search by name over here and we're gonna type in drone. Once you've typed in drone, all your drone controls will come up. You might wanna make a note of those for when you jump into the drone shortly. But what we are looking for is this section here camera mode switches and you'll see toggle drone now by default both of these boxes are blank and you will have to set your own keybind so to do that what i'll do is i'll clear this so this is what you will see when you first come onto it press a on start scanning and input whatever keybind you want i'm going for hold left stick and then press the back button because that doesn't interfere with anything else and then once you're done with that you can hit validate and then just hit B to back out of that menu and apply and save. So now your drone camera is on. We can jump into the world map and we can see what this thing can actually do. So we're going to want to go somewhere nice to check this out. So I'm going to start with the Eiffel Tower. We'll set it as departure and off we go. So here we are cruising over Paris. We've got the Eiffel Tower to our left there. And all we're going to do to activate our drone camera you can do this from the cockpit or you can do this from your external camera whatever you want we're just gonna push in our left stick and we're gonna hit back and we are now in the drone so we can actually leave we can actually leave our plane there it goes and we've now got this drone that we can take wherever we want get some cool shots of the Eiffel Tower whatever we want to do now obviously you might be wondering well what's gonna happen to the plane that is gonna keep flying I'm not even sure where it's gone there it is um, if your plane's in autopilot, then it'll fly on its own. If not, then um, it might crash. So there is a safer way to go about this if we just jump back to the plane, which you can do by pressing the exact same combination to get back. So what I'll do is I'll take this plane closer to the Eiffel Tower. So here we are just coming up on the Eiffel Tower now. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit left stick and then we're going to hit A on this toggle active pause section here. And what this does is it pauses the aircraft in midair, but everything is still going on around us. You can see the propeller is still spinning. So we are still in active gameplay, but the aircraft itself has been frozen in midair. So what we can do now is we can activate our drone camera, come outside the aircraft, and we've got complete freedom now to do what we want. And this is how you can get those really epic screenshots if you don't lose your plane like I did there. So, I mean, you can imagine if we had our waypoints turned off now, we could get some really, really cool screenshots of the Paris skyline with the Eiffel Tower there next to our plane. And one bonus thing you can do alongside the drone cam is you can come into our weather selection tool here. And if we turn off our live weather and we alter our live time, let's get some sunshine on Paris. Look at that. We could do whatever we want. I mean, we could even change Let's see what's Paris like with this, with a bit of snow. Or, ooh, we'll do a storm. Okay, that's a little foggy. Probably not going to make the best photo, but... A bit of lightning in the background at night time could look real cool. But yeah, with this weather tool, it really means that we can get the perfect... Let's go clear skies. We could get the perfect photograph, whatever it is we've come out for. We want a nice shot of the... The Paris skyline in the sun, look at that, absolutely incredible. And the best thing about the drone cam is, it's not all about these aerial shots. It doesn't stop here. You join me here outside Anfield, the home of Liverpool Football Club, of course. And we are capable of doing full first-person walk-arounds of any area we might want to visit. You can see my plane just up there in the background. It's never too far from the drone cam. But this drone cam feature really allows us to just get some incredible shots and get some real close-up looks at some of the details that they have put into this game there's the store the Liverpool store just outside Anfield and we can fly up and we can get a good look inside the stadium and see what kind of a job they've done at fleshing it out and I have to say it's all there it is very very close it's of course not completely accurate 
but for a flight sim, I have to say the level of detail they've gone to to flesh some of these places out really is incredible. So you join me here, one of my favorite places in the world. We're walking the streets of Shinjuku, Japan. Now I know what you're gonna say, it doesn't look very good, but let's remember this is a flight sim. I have to tell you, having walked these streets in real life, coming and doing it in the game, I am very, very impressed. It brings back floods of memories, but more importantly, the level of accuracy is is so surreal. I mean, they've done such a good job with this game, and I really think this drone cam just adds a little extra step. Look, there's McDonald's. They've even got the logo in. It's absolutely incredible. It really is. So, I mean, you can go anywhere in the world, and we can really get a, a real good look now at, at what they've done with this game. Even the billboards on the buildings, they're all in. It's absolutely incredible. What a job they've done with this game, and... Like I said, the, the drone cam, it's just added a whole new dimension to this game for me. And it is, of course, also a great way to get a closer look at some of the animals Microsoft have put in the game. So I don't want to show off too much because part of the fun of this is exploring the world and finding some of these places for yourself. But do let me know in the comments what you're going to go and check out or what you have checked out. Let me know what's worth looking at. And if you did enjoy this video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thank you very, very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.